Hello! In this video, you will learn how to write a simple Java class. Very first thing you want to do is make sure that you're logged in into Code Envy and you have a new cloned project. Here we are. We have a, we have a new project inside of our own workspace. We're going to go ahead and create a new Java class file. Click on the source folder left click on it to highlight it now right click on it new Java class we're gonna write a class called triangle so go ahead and put down that class name triangle hit OK and the class is created for us we're gonna always comment that this is the end of the class on this bracket on the closing curly brace so that we always know that that's where that goes. Now a class, a Java class is always going to have three things. A unique class name. So we always start with public class, your class name, triangle. Always starting with a uppercase, first letter, and then the rest are camel cased. Camel casing is making sure that if you have more than one word for your class name, that each word is starting with an uppercase, uppercase letter. There are no spaces in the class name, so make sure that there, there aren't any. The other two things are your data and your methods. So we're going to go ahead and make that comment. Data, methods. Usually we always, always have um, constructors, so we always um, Put that in as well in between data and methods constructors all right so we're going to create three pieces of data for the class triangle you can have any number of data we're always going to start with the access level is private for our data and then the type Now we're going to do another private data or private variable. We're going to call it the, this is going to be a double for the base and then for the height and then also a string piece of data name. Great. Now that we have all four of these pieces of data created, Notice that on each line when we declare a piece of data, there are three elements. The access level, the data type or the variable type, and the variable name. Notice that there are no spaces inside of the variable name. We always start with the first letter lowercase and then camel casing it after that. So the next thing we're going to do is create constructors. Constructors are special methods that let you instantiate uh, off of this class and create a new instance for this class. So the syntax for creating a constructor is as follows. You always start with a access level, which is always public, and then you put in the name of the class exactly as is. So that this is exactly the same as this right here. And this, notice that this is exactly the same. Now you have the parameter list just like a regular method. Since this is the de default constructor, we're not going to have any parameters. Here we're just going to have a open curly brace and then the close curly brace. Don't forget to comment. So, so since we're creating the default constructor, we're going to we're going to go ahead and provide default values for each of the variables. So here we're going to have this dot number of sites equals three, always three. This dot base equals. This is a double type, so we're going to go ahead and put two point seven. The height is also a double type, so we're going to put 
eight. And then we're going to name this one route. And then always terminate. All right, we're done with the default constructor. We're going to go ahead and give it another constructor. The constructor with a three parameter list. So same as before, except that we're going to give it three parameters. So remember that the parameter list always has the type of the parameter and then the parameter name. So let's do that. We're going to have a uh, int number of sides double base double height and then string name. And then finishing off the parameter list. We're going to start the block of code that defines this constructor. This dot number of sides equals number of sides. So notice that we're using the same parameter name as the input and then using that in here to assign the value equals the assignment operator. Yeah. So we assign this value into our variable and create a new, uh, create a value in here. I'm going to do this with the other three parameters. And we're done with constructors. Next, we're going to do the get and set methods. So we're going to do a get and set method for each of these pieces of data. And we'll start off with the number of sides. We'll do get number of sides. So these are public methods. Methods are mostly usually public. So we start with public. Since this is a get method, it's going to have a return type. This is get number of sides. So we're going to return an integer. So the return type here will be integer int get number of sides. Since we're getting something, we won't need a parameter list. Now we're going to say return number of sides. And that's it. Now we're going to set the number of sites. So public, since we're setting, we have no return type. We're going to put void in here for the return type. Set number of sites. Since we're setting, we're going to require a input parameter. So we're going to say int number of sites. Only one parameter since we're setting that one. Open and close curly brace. We set the number of sides variable to the input. And that's it for that one. I'm going to finish off with the other three um, variables with the get and set methods for each of them. Don't forget to comment each of these. Good commenting, it will pay off later, definitely.
Same thing here, we're going to provide a parameter of double height. And then uh, setting the height. Ending the comment. And lastly, we're going to have the other two get and set methods for name. String is a correct type. Here we have uh, the set name method, so return type is void. But the parameter should be string. Great. Looks like the class is complete. We have the three sections, data, constructors, and methods. We also have the unique class name with the open brace and the close brace here that contains all of the code for this class. Now we're going to build it. And build it successful. There you have it. That's the triangle class.